Welcome back to more Persona 3 Portables. So last time we, um, we fought another mini-boss in Tartarus. It's been a while since I last recorded the video. Um, and yeah, that went well. And yeah, we're gonna see if there's gonna be more after Tartarus because... More of this block, because yeah, last time yeah, I learned that, well, there's more to this block than I thought, so yeah. So a screen, I did actually a couple of things, and one of the things was, well, you see him on screen. We're going to be trying to fuse Thanatos today. Now, there are a couple of things I should mention that I learned. I was a shot of personas I used, most of these I've newly fused, because I want to try and get rid of the Mudos skills. Um, and I might have also used some skill cards here and there. Um, to get rid of some fast uh, stuff, because yeah, Phantos likes to hurt those too, so I want to try and limit that. Um, so there's a few things you need to know about Phantos. He's Dark Inheritance type, but um, he actually cannot inherit Die For Me. Uh, that's because Die For Me apparently is exclusive to Alice in this game, so yeah. That's something that's very good to know. So I'm going to be sticking with regular Mudo and Mamudon for um, Thanatos here. This is what I decided to go with. Uh, Garl is fodder basically, but I do really like growth 2 and resist light. So yeah, that's what we're going to be going with. So we're finally going to be using this very important So let's do it finally. And hopefully it's not an accident. <laughs> like I said, I also did a couple of other things too, which I will be sure to show off. But yeah, it took a long time to fuse all those personas to get here because I need to make room. But yeah, here he is. I am Phantos. I was born of thee and shall walk by thy side. See, so yeah, level 65, level 66. He gets a hammer, which is very random sounding. But hey, if you have a um, hammer boost, it actually might not do too bad. I'll get a Ghastly Whale because I didn't get um, any fear skill, so yeah, there's no really no need to keep that around. I'll get Weapon Master. I'll get rid of um, Gorilla probably. Yeah, I think I will do that. Level 69, and that's it. So yeah, I'll definitely not very late. Um, Start Tempest Slash. Now let's see. I do have a Moodle Boost skill card thanks to um um I do have a um I'll try to say um a Moodle Boost skill card thanks to um Fan oh, not Phantos mod. Um I believe he was the one who gave it. I might actually just get rid of weapon slots, because even though Megi Dola isn't that good, um it is high damage to everything. So if the insta kills don't work, then yeah, he's got that. Actually, you know what? I should get rid of Muhammad because yeah, that we we can probably make something much better with that. So yeah, with light insta kills. So yeah, so that's my Phantos. But yeah, I fused some other things. I also need to get back some things from Compendium because I need to make room for Phantos. So in hindsight, I probably should have um bought these out later, but that's okay because I fused them um. Because I fused them earlier. They're still around, so yeah, it's not the end of it. So basically, what I want to do is, I want to buy back up. I probably don't need to buy back this Persona, but um, I should probably go Arcana because I know where it would be there. Um, Kusimitama. So Kusimitama has the Wind Boost skill card, so I'm going to try and get that. And then the other one's a Kuninushi. Who has the um a pupil skill card. Those are gonna be helpful, so yeah. Um I have like nobody left out, but that's okay. Um yeah, I don't really need to buy anything else. But I'll show off some other things I did. I guess I can show off all the personas I have now. We have Melchizedek, who's still strong with all the auto skills. Um, so yeah, I really like having him around. Um, then we still got Odin, 
who is actually um, going... <laughs> I mean, he's still very far away from the spell, Master Man, so okay. He's still doing a great job for us. Search, who's still overpowered. By level 66, I actually want to try a different fire user, so that'll be interesting. Siegfried, the app pupil is actually meant for him, so yeah. I'll probably get rid of Deathbound just because Wolf of Blade is just so strong. <laughs> I guess I could get rid of Tempest Slash, be although yeah, Tempest Slash can do a lot of damage on Power Charge, and uh, because it's multi hit, so that's kind of why I want to keep it around. Then we got Skaha here. This is actually a new Skaha. As you can see there, she actually has Bufudine and Mar Bufudine, but Ice Boost nice out. Um, a Power Charge is not very good. No Dark, technically not really. But Amrita's pretty cool. So yeah, I used this because I saw her magic stat and I'm like, you know what, she could actually make good use of um, Bufudine or Bufudine. So yeah, that's why I decided to go in. She also has Grow Free too, which is quite cool. So yeah, I'll try and make this kind of Orc Persona work a little bit. Then we got Jitayu. I was recommended to fuse one of these because they're actually pretty good. They get Garudine, not Garudine. Um, I was able to get Wind Boost and Wind Amp thanks to um, Ganesha. Um, Amrit is also pretty cool, and then yeah, all we need to do is level up once more, and then we get both Null Elect and um, the Growth Free skill card. And yeah, Jitai being the source of the Growth Free skill card is amazing, so yeah. I can also give that to either Thanatos or um, um, Melchizedek too, so that's pretty cool. I wonder who though, but yeah, we just fuse Thanatos. I'm pretty happy with this moveset considering that, yeah, we can't get die for me, so Mudon and Mamudon are best bets, so yeah. Um, and yeah, even outside that, he has a good attack stat, so he should be able to do well with Brave Blade um, once we get it. Brave Blade's really good, from what I've heard. And then yeah, Megidor is also not too bad either. And like I said, we bought back a Kusumi Tama and a Konoshi. I think I need to buy an Empress for Sona, but yeah, I'll double check that once we're done with this block. Oh yeah, there's one more thing too. Um, I actually did manage to get one of the swords. Um, let's have um, Junpei show which one that is. Here's this one, the Mikazuki Munachika, which gives plus high HP. And yeah, I'm going to show this to Theo so we can finish that quest, finally. The other sword we'll get later because the only reason why is, well, I didn't really have the time while I was away. And also, um, the enemies still are... Basically, this one was easy because all the enemies basically ran away from me. The other one, not all of them do. They're close, but yeah. I think I need to be 10 levels higher for the for them to just run away from me. That makes getting these a lot easier. Then you get um, quite a lot of... Oh, gems right there. And yeah, only that one remains. I mean, actually, the smart thing to do with the crew free skill card really is Loki over here, because we kind of want to do that quest, so yeah. I'm gonna need more money though, so yeah, we're gonna be chasing out the money cards for the rest of this um, Tartarus visit. And I guess finally I can register. Yeah, we should definitely register fan to us with Moodle Beast, so yeah, let's do that. So yeah, I guess I can show him the companion as well. Because yeah, like I said, he's kind of a big deal in this sort of scene. But here he is, the Greek god Death. He is the son of Nyx and the brother of Hypnos. He's depicted as a young man with an inverted torch and a wreath of or butterfly in his hands. So there you go. And like I said, I really love his um I really love what Phantos looks like in Persona 3, he looks amazing. And yeah, we might try using it too. Hopefully Muda Boost or Mudon is strong enough to insta clarify. Because yeah, I would like to show him off. Like I said, he is a very, very cool persona, so yeah. I guess I'll have to tell you, we're actually one level away from making um, Garuda. I actually mistakenly thought that Garuda was a Sun persona. It's a Star persona, so yeah, quite a big difference. I was getting the sword though, enemies basically gave no experience, so my level should be the same as the other four. I decided to take the lowest level team members this time. Bar Akika. So yeah, that would be Mitsuru. Um and I think I didn't 
I don't have Kansi, it'll be Mitsuru, I guess, and Kuro. So yeah, I feel that's who will rock with while we try to use Phantos productively. Um, so let's save again just in case. I have some things to talk about. Uh, the mainly in regards to the trip actually, because I actually want to talk about it because it's a pretty fun one. So yeah, let's go. Let's see. Will this be the end, or will we still have another mini boss? Let's find out. And yeah, it feels good to play this again because we're at a pretty cool point in the game. So yeah, I was kind of missing not being able to record it as well, but at the same time, the trip was very relaxing. And yeah, um, and a lot of cool things happened. So yeah. So yeah, she's seen the stream different by the ways. Um. Okay, okay. So yeah, I think yeah. First off, let's actually talk about the trip itself. So I went to Dallas, which is in Texas. Um, it's actually a very nice place. So yeah, I think that's a There's good one enemy. enemy. Attack! This is the mad cycle. Give me a sec. I'll scan the I want to see what's being too. So. Alright, that's the one. So let's go. It seems the enemy's weak against light. That's weak against light. Only one enemy uh, left. It Maybe seems hot. So that's just this. <laughs> because it resists ice. And we'll go for the Persona! And that's it. <laughs> Efficiently executed. So yeah, maybe I'll try and find a twist against it. It's not weak to dark, so it's not gonna die instantly probably, but yeah. Again, yeah, we'll try them out. I think um Udon and Mount Udon aren't too expensive as guys, so yeah that definitely does. Yes, there are. There are two of them. Attack! So this is the Papuchal sign. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. And yeah, I was told to these are such a incredible. So yeah. Again, I want to see a three two. Last one. Don't let your guard down. So yeah, the farmer is going to show his Go. I got the fan. Only one enemy left! It has multiple weaknesses. So yeah, it's weak to... Yeah, actually it's a power account, interesting. But yeah, it's weak to everything but strike. So yeah. Bullseye! Eliminated! So we're just gonna crit to that. <laughs> that also means that, yeah, I'm super strong. So yeah, we're probably gonna do that. And there we go. So yeah, that also has probably so there you go, he's gonna get rid of Moodle, and he's gonna get Moodle boost himself, so that's nice. Um, so yeah, oh yeah, so it's very relaxed. Uh, the main reason why I went was a medic, but yeah. There are three enemies. I actually be careful. the medic, to be honest, that was nice. Um, yeah, I see his sick free block was interesting. <laughs> because again, he has the... Persona! So yeah. That should destroy everything. <laughs> like I said. <laughs> so we could get the Decker Obvia, but yeah, let's just get the Um EXP. Should be a good amount, yep. That was a good move, she'll have up and let that be yourself, so that's good. I'll get rid of Firebreak probably, even though he does use it. Probably. It's sure that was up against some time, damage, is amazing. Um, I guess I was up against Maraku Kaja, which is amazing. He actually gets the around, which is cool, so he can kill himself. Hey, that's what I'm about to say. Uh. But yeah, I think the important thing though. So yeah, let's get my So yeah, the important thing though was I got to talk to my uncle and my cousin. Um, I haven't actually seen my uncle in 21 years, according to uh, what I've heard. So yeah, this brings he's a very nice person. So yeah, there are two enemies. Yeah, it's very nice to chat to. Hey, this is the stasis. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. So, yeah, I feel like I'm close, but anyway. Okay, it goes around the car. Um, 
Okay, I'll we'll just see what It's weak against ice. Use Bufu skills. So that's good. Yeah, yeah, back up Two enemies so, left. Uh, what else? The enemy's weak against ice. This apparently it doesn't. It's not good against Cannon! Must be eliminated. The, uh, I should go go for the dolphin. Don't hurt you. Artemisia! You know, it's very expensive. Just in case, because the other one. I can't be. Also, I can see that excuse to hit the. The enemy's down. Let's finish. <laughs> Don't fall by my hand. I shouldn't do it. <laughs> so there you go. Nice little attack. Um, you can get Atropos. It's probably better than the Cop Con CR. Let's do it. And yeah, I'm probably gonna use that some troll fish and spare. Let's go up the stairs again. So yeah, the enemies are different, yeah. so I assume we might actually still have another mini boss. See, that's cool. Anyway. So like I said, uh, that's why I really like the other trip. It's also nice to uh, wait to relax too. This is also a mini boss. Sure. Heat wave. Okay, so the Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. Yeah, like I said, I think we fought this. Two enemies left. Use Mudo skills. It's weak against darkness. Uh -huh, all right. So yeah, I see if I can use Corporate. But yeah, I want to see how much Mudo Dine does. I can't be. I want to see if I can resist the ice. Last one. Enemy. Don't let your guard down. Yeah. Yeah. The enemy's weak against. Cannon. Must be eliminated. The wrong. Only one yeah. enemy Our left. Finishes. Because. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> but luckily, I have found it. So I'm gonna show what he can do with the little boost. So this should work. I yeah, it costs 12. Not too much. Well. Yeah, too bad I can't get die for me. In this game at least. I'm pretty sure you couldn't fess maybe, but yeah. Um, let's see. Because I think you can get um, Samsara on other things, because yeah, they don't actually mention Samsara's one of those personas. Um, that you can't pass the skills with. So yeah. Because there's some of the alternate skills, yeah, you can actually pass down, but yeah, not more of them though. So yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, not the deck. Let's keep going. So yeah. <coughs> so got this. There's one enemy. I just need to light. Um, I'm probably just going to be put on. It seems yep. only so one enemy good. left. Huh? Because that's not the difference. <laughs> <laughs> no need to risk a do not killing. So yeah. Oh, there's a Loki though. <laughs> that's actually kind of random. I'm just gonna get the money though. Because yeah, the plan is we're gonna use the Loki I fuse of four to get to level 63 because it's God's hand. And God's hand is pretty cool sounding on the ultimate builder, so I think. I still don't know what they're all about yet, so yeah. Not gonna be more so yeah. There are two enemies! We got these things again, I'll just use. <laughs> But yeah, uh, there was something else you could do. Um, of course, I did record those videos that you've already seen at this point. I really like the Tokyo Extreme Racer 2 video. That was really nice. Um, because I love that game so much. I can't wait to talk about that game later in the My Thoughts video. But anyway. Oh, well, <laughs> it will be its own video, but yeah. Yeah, I thought we wouldn't get anything. But yeah, we got a Loki. We definitely gonna need a fuse of money though. That's a lot of money. Yeah, that's a lot of money. <laughs> um See so yeah, that's good. 
Okay, the thing I want to talk about though, this is kind of random, but yeah, it was what me and my brother did together. So, we started watching Kingdom. Um, here's the reason why. So, my brother, he's read the manga. He's reading the manga, he's the manga. There are two enemies! And he says it's really good. And I can definitely see why, even though I'm watching the anime. Here's the problem with Kingdom. Um, I watch the anime. Um, the animation's terrible. <laughs> I actually don't know. This one. So there we go. So I got here. Um, actually, in terms of sword cards, I believe we want 8 sword cards because that actually has a chance to give us the sword. Yeah, I'm just going to get the XP. And there we go, fine. <laughs> See, boost the car level so get to be boost itself, which is good. More of that's good. The uh technically I don't need to. Um he actually wants to change growth too, but I definitely don't want that. Technically I don't need to do that because here yeah, we have to tie you and tie you and as well as the booster. Actually everyone loved that, that's really cool. But yeah, it's nice to have a wind boost skill card just lying around just in case. So, yeah. I think once he max out fortune, we could just fuse him and then he'll give us the skill card since he's nice. Card. There are two enemies! The Yoda to ice. It's weak again. I guess I can show us the hard though. And they're very good magic skills. Two enemies left! Very solid magic skills, <laughs> I'm pretty sure, yeah, she can't inherit ice skills, so I used the Boofutine skill card to get regular Boofutine. But yeah, we want the money, because, yeah, we saw how expensive some of these um, fusions can be. Although, Xerxes is definitely nice. Yeah, let's keep just getting some money. <laughs> Although, yeah, we could always just bank on getting the chest, because, yeah, those normally give a good run. Everybody, please regroup. Yeah, let's get this chest. All right, play got <laughs> Just these. There are two enemies. Hey, you scored it again. Anyway, um, so let's talk more about Kingdom. So yeah, uh, oh, yes, the enemies is terrible. You can see some on the end. It's the point where I can see some three. Um, but uh, if you watch it, you'll understand why we think the animation's so bad. But here's the thing though, I feel like at the same time, the kingdom's just so good on its own that I can laugh it off and just say, oh well, that was just a bad decision to me. It's actually because yeah, they rectify in season 3. So yeah, not a problem though. Although, yeah, it is pretty hilarious how bad the animation is. Um, I should also mention, yeah, weapons. I actually got some weapons too. Um, what are these? Like, uh, they're just a lot of time. I actually got a really interesting one for Ken. This is from a red chest, is this. Um, King Arthur's famous slots, apparently. So yeah, that's actually pretty cool because plus 40 SP is definitely quite good, but I'm actually going to keep that, the one he currently has. He is about to learn Violet Soul, so yeah. The plus strength on that is definitely good for him. Hey, this is one enemy. That's just one piece. Okay. There's one enemy. So yeah, we can just use Skaha. Anyway. Fine, let's talk a lot about Kingdom. So, um... My brother kind of describes him like a <laughs> light father because it's about war, and yeah, he's definitely not wrong about that. It definitely reminds him a little bit about Farum if the story is good. <laughs> I mean, Farum sometimes does a good stories, but nowadays it's definitely not the basic. But yeah, Kingdom is about like the um, horror of war and stuff like that. I would say, like, like yeah, definitely. I wouldn't say it's all about that, but yeah, it definitely feels like that, definitely, so yeah. Um, actually, I got a thing, you know, a lot of spin. Um, it's stronger and it has crit rate up the lowest, so yeah, I'll take that. 
They ate the they eight sword cards, I believe, can have the sword we're looking for. That we need to complete the other quest. So yeah. We can look out for those. But yeah, it's definitely a very serious take on war if you can stand the bad enemies. <laughs> there, if you're reading the market, that's not an issue. But yeah, people that's great characters. The plot's really good at the moment too. Watch out! There are four enemies! Um, as well as these iron dice. Give me a sec. I'll scan there. the target. Do I have milk as a deck? I can check by the So we're just gonna check. Because I want to see what the weak team is saying. The enemy's weakness is electricity. There are four enemies left. That's pretty basic. I'll go for heat wave. Persona. I think they resist physical. So. Three remaining. Um, it's Suru. I guess she can go for my little fella. The opponent will destroy these. Yes, the number one. Death Pound would be bad. It wasn't so that's good. There are three enemies left. They are all kind of low so I could use um, sick creatures. So. Let's go for that nice one. And there we go. One, two, nice. Yeah, crits do have a pretty good amount of damage. Just try, I want to get that up to the skull. Looks like we're getting experience a lot today, so that's pretty good. Haha. <laughs> <coughs> My voice sounds a little tired there. Um, Sick Breed gets Weapons Master. I'll get rid of Death Dump on that, I think. Because, yeah, all the blades are removed. Oh, the level levels up, but there's a lot of new skills. So, oh, Nishi does look like it gets that after the skill card. So now I can give it to. Oh, not open. <laughs> I can give it to Sigfrey. And. I kind of want to get Brave Blade instead of Tempest Slash. Actually, to be honest, I should keep Blood Master over Tempest Slash, I think, so yeah, I don't do just that. And we'll probably get rid of Weapons Master for Brave Blade. I think that's going to be the idea. Then we'll have a very nice boost up. For Sigfrey. Anyway. And yeah, now I can just use the Incredible Wave. Just this. Only got there. Another one. There are two enemies. This is the prime match. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. Yeah, it takes a lot of dash. <laughs> it seems like it's weak against fire. Last one. Don't let your guard down. And Karma is good. Cannon. Eliminated. Only one enemy so left. Um, I'll keep This might just kill me. That does not feel a lot too far. <laughs> so anyway. Yeah, that's really what I'll say that can be done. Um, the, I believe we just finished an arc of it. I really like that arc. It was actually really nice as well. Like I said, it kind of reminds me of Farmum. Like a very serious card like farm. Um, uh, let's see. There we go. You got my CEO trim? Alright, so. I guess, yeah. Uh, I don't really want to see much more just in case I'm like I said, it just really intrigues me. There are three of them! Strike first! Which I wasn't actually expecting of these. But uh it intrigues me as much as when I watched um I summon you. initial team of my Sia. I know it's like the advantage of uh um, you'll fall by my cause of That's definitely quite impressive, so I definitely want to watch more of it. Although, yeah, the next thing I need to do is actually a little bit complicated because apparently, according to my brother, they skipped the arc in the anime, probably because of time constraints. So, that's why I like certain scenes like, to get cut up from anime and stuff. So, yeah, I love myself, that's amazing. It's 
So we get a look. Um, our gun is actually still pretty good. No panic is. To be honest, no panic is kind of rest, so yeah, I'm gonna check out. And we get the group piece. Still got like I said, we should probably get that to the next once we do it. So yeah. If we have an access point, I'm probably just gonna take it so we can get Loki. I mean, there's another thing we can do. I did learn what um, I was about to call it, oh, but <laughs> Fuka's um, escape route does it is basically just a portable. Um, there are two point. enemies. But I think what we should do, we should go to the next floor, then use it, then get Loki in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we should just. Use it. <laughs> I could also save my SP2, but to be honest, I'm just going to So maybe I should get the um, the Sonata, the uh, Kukurihime. I think I'm just gonna go with the experience though. And <laughs> this is all. This always really tenses me up. There we go. Man, that allows. Um, both Icus and Chromar to level up again. See, so yeah, they're actually quite high level now, so yeah, I'll probably swap out the play too. A Red Shadow. It could be a different enemy as well, so yeah. At least could be surprising it. It's just a good list. There are two strong enemies! Attack! It's weak against you. So it's weak against win. Oh, this is Jitai who's trying to shine. That's me. Two enemies left. So let's go for them. I summon you. Let's see what this looks like. The enemies are balanced. That should kill. That looks like this is good. Sounds pretty easy. So yeah, we should get the experience off of that. Uh, again, these really tense me up. There we go. So we're gonna get a good amount there. Level 65. And because you can't get to be So now you can just fuse them away. The skill gun, right? So I can just fuse them away. So yeah, let's do that. Well, the stairs are right there, so maybe I should do that first. <laughs> And then we can go get Loki. We're gonna have to feast first though. And you know what? Why not? Let's let them split a little bit. See if they can find Please spread out and search the area. Um, it's sort of got stuck. Well. <laughs> I have obtained money. Money is definitely good. Ah, there she goes. <laughs> It's like two hours. That's some guy with like. Seven. Shouldn't we go back for the night? I have found something. That's good. Go. Found some robe and money. Good. See, so yeah, it looks like there is another mini boss. So yeah. That go armor. So we're actually getting some pretty good armor. Looks like. Yeah, I got a phantom robe. That's the luck. Um. I don't think we need them. But what about the Urko uh, armor? Is that for um, Ica, I wonder? Yes, it is actually. It's more defense, but only a slight bit more, and the main outfit also gives a lot of speed, so yeah, why not? She doesn't use her speed that much, but she does have bus skills, so. Oh yeah, like I said, let's use Fuka's new ability for the first time in school. I used it to help me get the sword. Because now we're gonna fuse, well not fuse, we're gonna get Loki out of the compendium so we can give him growth free and then we can level him up. So yeah, let's um, 
Matthews first, because we have a Loki. Okay, with Lakshmi, we can make Helldiker again. We can make Byaku again. I actually see Trumpeter. I actually have enough level for him, too. Um, apparently he likes to, um... Apparently he likes to both use Hama and Mudo, apparently, and probably Gardine as well. He just seems like tons of coverage in this game. Is there anything else? Horus, actually. Um, Horus is pretty cool too. They also get growth free. And also Order Masuku, so that's really cool. One cool thing you can do is he can give this thing some Sara. That's pretty cool. But yeah, uh, I'm actually... What do we want? Byako or Hellbiker? Um... I might go with Byaku, actually. Yeah, I think I will. Yeah, I want this. Should I? I don't need to register those, so yeah. We can, um... Technically, I could register Kunushi, but then I can get the upheaval skill content if I really want. <laughs> Same with Jintayu, maybe, so yeah. Let's yeah, so see how much experience they have. But yeah, the thing with Jutai won't be too necessary, especially once we um, max up some, so yeah. Yeah, let's just get this, um, Bianco Fusion Water again. He has pretty good Fusion Water because he endure, he gets, he's able to get on his own, so that's good. But Zeodine's also pretty cool if you can get that as well. Excellent. So yeah, then I can also fuse those two together as well. To make Raphael again, I probably should do that. Um, I will need to get rid of Kusumi Tama as well. Um, yeah, I see Haruki as well. Who looks like a pretty good ice user. They also have Bufudine and the Bufudine skill card as well. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, Skaha could help us make a pretty good one. Yeah, like I said, kind of iron Seth, because Seth can help uh, make another pretty strong fire user, so yeah. But yeah, I wonder if I should do this, because yeah. Raphael is pretty cool, so yeah. And get the Orphan too, so yeah. But yeah, I wonder, can I get um, Invigorate 3 and I want them. That'd be cool. But future model. I could get one, but not the other, it looks like. I guess, yeah, he's always gonna get my use swing, I think, so yeah, maybe I should just go with that. Let's get that in big route 3. And now we've cleared out all the fogs, so it's not good. But I guess you can see what we're falcon up this make as well. But yeah, level 65, I guess I should check and see what that helps us make. Oh yeah, Garda, right. <laughs> so we're gonna have to do something like that. But yeah, again, he's pretty good fusion model, so yeah, I do like him. And the Raphael. So yeah, now I need to think how I'm gonna fuse Jitayu into Garuda. Again, Garuda is actually a star persona, not a sun persona. So yeah, I am gonna buy that look. Damn, first we're going to um, register. Again, I could do that. But nah, it's okay. We are, we can definitely afford we could afford to fuse it again. Now that we might fuse them into um, Gardos, so yeah. And I do wonder if this one feels better than the last one. Eh, uh, hard to say. They both like the same, so yeah. <laughs> it turns out good. Oh. Sunrise is a key person. So, 
Yeah, again, let me see. Can I make... Um, can I make Garuda with Jintai? Actually, I can with Skaha. But yeah, that means I need to buy back Skaha. So yeah. And I... Do I even have the money to do that? I barely do. So yeah. It might actually do it still. Yeah, the first thing you need to do is you need to buy back Loki. He's actually quite close, so it shouldn't take that long. And yeah, we're gonna be buying back Skaha. For the, um... Garuda fusion. So yeah, Jatayu and... Skaha makes Garuda. This is where having that, um, wind boost skill card really helps. The, uh, actually he's weak to dark apparently, so... And those two have the passives that cover that weakness, so that's pretty cool. The, yeah, growth freeze is also really cool. There's like a lot of good skills here. The issue is, is that, yeah, what do we get? It's probably gonna get, um... It must always get um, Garudine. So yeah. Yeah, this is gonna take some thinking. Because the yeah, the Skaha also has some really nice skills too, so yeah. Um Actually wait a minute. This has one boost one down. I should go with this. It doesn't have growth, unfortunately, but yeah, that's okay. We do cover one of its weaknesses, which is definitely good. And here it is. So level 66, level 67, level 68, it gets Amrita. Level 69, it's high. Um, what does Amria do again? Kills all elements, party, yeah, I think it's better than their armor. Repel wind. That's good for passing stuff down, so I might go for that. I get rid of Arrow Rain, which apparently is like its um, exclusive skill. And there we go. So, yeah, what's his magic? 45. That's pretty good, although he does have more physical attack, the, uh, but the agility is also pretty good. And we did cover one of its weaknesses, that's nice. Um, the Agarita can also help us think Uriel, which is cool. I probably should do that before we um, leave this place, because, yeah, like I said, I would like a um, Aeon Persona, just in case, so, yeah. Man, let me just... So that's good. But yeah, I'm probably just gonna get the Griffey skill card, I'm gonna end this part. So... Griffey, Loki... Instead of Mabufu. There you go. So like I said, let's just end the part here, I'll also um, heal up. And yeah, we'll use a different pie next time, also I need a buyback Skaha, I just remembered. <laughs> because again, Skaha is pretty good, so... I definitely will like them around, so yeah. <laughs> and like I said, let's... So I did heal now, we can get a new party. Because yeah, everyone here leveled up a pretty decent amount, so yeah. So yeah, we can take Ken, uh, Akihiko, and Avikari or Chupi. I'll probably take Yukari. That's all we'll do, so yeah. I'm gonna get the party now, and yeah, like I said, we'll end the party here. So yeah, <laughs> we fused, um... We fused, um... Thanatos, as well as some other cool personas too. We're working on the Loki quest now, which is great. Okay.
now that we have Groove 3 on him. Maybe I'll use it for fun with the God's Hand. I would like to do a funny joke with that, so yeah. He also has other people to go along with it, which is kind of funny. But yeah. I probably should register Loki too, just in case, you know, I do something stupid. Once it does get to level 63, we might think about fusing that, um... When I think about fusing that, um, Uriel. But anyway, I'll also see if there's any other viable fusions for Uriel or something. But anyway. Alright, so that's in the part here. So next time on Persona 3 Portable, we're going to hopefully get to the next mini boss. I think that's gonna be our aim. Um I think I'll also talk about some other things too that were on my mind while I was away as well. So yeah, look forward to that and I'll see you guys again for that.